Hey everyone, it's Shadowsnake141, and this tutorial was requested by Premade Gaming. In this tutorial, I'll just be showing you how to um, slow down uh, video and audio, and also speed it up, and uh, how to do like a, a flash of white or uh, a flash of any um, video or picture or whatever you want in your in your um, project. So here's a quick example of uh, my iTech project of just these bits um, flashing. And that's basically what we're going to uh, what we're going to do today and also um, the speed up and slow down effect. Okay, so let's go into our other one. So this uh, video file is just um, it's just a, a sample video from the normal Windows um, Windows videos. <laughs> anyway, so right now they're grouped together, and when I move it, they both move. So what I want to do is I want to right click. I want to go down to group, and I want to go to clear. So this way we can move them independently and not together. So first off, I'm going to show you how to speed up and slow down. So at the start there's just some horses running so let's go to the end of this and where it switches over go frame by frame using the arrow keys and just press S on your keyboard to cut that so I'm going to mute the audio for now and just focus on the video so they're moving at quite a normal pace just a normal running pace and let's say we want to speed that uh, slow it down at first okay so uh, what you do is you just go to the end of your track right here I'll zoom in right there where it has the kind of half a half a square and you just hold control on your keyboard then it should have uh, just kind of like a squiggly line underneath it so what you want to do is just drag that out and to wherever you want it you'll notice that it has like squiggly lines going along uh, that is just showing you that you have sped it up or slowed it down. So let's see how they're running now. They're running at a much slower pace, which if I press Ctrl Z on my keyboard, you can see that they have slowed down. So I'll just quickly explain why this is and uh, like what the what, what the program actually does to it. So uh, you may have come across frames per second before, so uh, yeah. So uh, right now this video is at 25, 25 frames per second. It says right there, and it says 25.000p. That p is just I don't know what it represents, but I'm pretty sure it represents uh, frames per second, seeing as that is frames per second. So right now it's at 25 frames per second and if I stretch it out uh, what it, all it does is uh, let me find an example here so let's stretch out all the way and you'll see so right here it's at 1, one second and 23 milliseconds so if I go frame by frame just carry on you'll see that these two frames are exactly the same but if I go back to how it was, they're both different. Or go down 23 there, and they're both different. So what 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 it's done is is basically just copied the same frame and pasted it one frame along. So it's copied the picture and pasted it one frame along. So uh, that's basically all it does in order to make it. Uh, give it the effect of it being slower. Now, if you have, uh, let's say, 30 frames per second, then there's only a cer there's a certain extent that it can stretch out to. So if I just move this all the way along here, grab this, stretch it out, and you'll see I can't stretch it out anymore because if I play it, it's very very choppy and very laggy, and it's not going properly it doesn't look good so 
it, there's only a certain extent that you can do it. But if you record at um, a higher frames per second, like 60 frames per second, then um, then it will be you, you'll be able to stretch it out a lot more or thin it down a lot more. So all I did there to speed it up was control at the end again and just push it in. Push it into whatever I want. And if you see them running now, well, it seems normal, but if I just put in a lot, then you'll see it looks like they're on drugs. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you have a higher frames per second, it means that you're more capable of slowing it down uh, and speeding it up at, and it would look better, it would look still the same and it would look smooth. That's how movie uh, creators and film creators, well that's the same thing, uh, <laughs> like make their slow and down effect. Most likely not with Sony Vegas but they they will record at a higher frames per second. Um, so that they can, it would look much smoother. So if you understand that, then great, but I'll just explain it a tiny bit more. So if I have 60 frames per second, let's go to file here and properties. So here's your frame rate. These are all the different options that you have. 59.940 is 60 frames per second. That is a good, um, a good uh, recording uh, option to to record anything on, but what you can't do is just click 60 frames per second and click apply. You can't do that if the video is only recording at 30 frames per second. It's like getting uh, a a really bad looking video. Like let's say you recorded it in 240p. And then you, then you uh, just put the resolution as 720. It, it doesn't look as good. It's like it will be like that in the screen. It's it's it. You just can't do it. So that's the exact same with frames per second. There's you can do it to a certain extent, but it won't look much better. You'll just kind of be lying, kind of. So. A quick tip is to when you're when you're um when you're recording, just record stuff in in um sixty frames per second if you can, or or I don't know in a higher uh, frames per second if you're going to slow down the clip or speed it up. But obviously, it does take more space if you do record in a higher frames per second. Same as if you record in a higher resolution. It takes more space on your hard drive or your memory card or whatever you're recording on. So let's um, let's go over a different way to record. Let's a, li a different way to slow down and speed up. I mean, sorry about that. So let's go back to where it switches over. And let's just move that either way. And go down to group and clear those. Okay, so we tried the con the control effect, which I normally use because it's it's very easy. You just hold control. It's it's the easiest way. So let's try a different way. But this way is I I wouldn't extremely recommend it because well I don't use it and it's not. It's just not very, I don't know, practical. Anyway, uh, all you do is you right click on your video or your audio, whichever one, go to insert, insert slash remove envelope, and then just click velocity. This comes up with a green line on your, on your um, video or your audio. Now what you just want to do is double click wherever you want it to start, double click again somewhere else, so let's see the video first. It's going at a normal pace. They're all running at a normal pace. So if I just bring down the velocity here, you'll see from the start that they slow down and then just go to a normal pace. If I bring the velocity up a bit, 
slightly and this one then you'll see that they slow down and speed up and because I don't have another one here this whole line just carries on quite high so they will be running quite fast until I insert another one and bring it back down to normal which is a hundred percent so what happens right now is goes down up and normal but I think just then I don't know a lot about this so I think just then it paused or something let's try nope okay so yeah it goes slow it goes fast then just normal that is it's a kind of good way if you get the hang of it but beware because uh, let's reset all of these beware because if you put one there put one there and then bring this all the way down what it actually does is it reverses so there is a certain point which it stops slowing down and actually goes completely backwards and that is when if you see the percentage there it goes to minus percent so that means it goes backwards so let's just uh, reset all of these so that's another way to slow down and speed up time of your audio or video so um, now let's go on to the on to the next part which is uh, which is um, like making making that effect with all of these flashes but we're going to be doing it with just a plain simple white background okay so what you want to do is insert a new video track by right clicking on the space and go to insert new video track now you want to go to media generators from here you just go to solid color and you pick a color which is I'm just going to pick white uh, but you can just pick any single color you want and then just change it from here change it to whatever shade you want there's the RGB and the A, the alpha channel I think that is uh, at the bottom and I'm just going to set that to white um, okay so that comes up as blue so I'm just going to quickly insert that again so that's white uh, let's shorten that and let's have it so that it's it's just normal going like that so if you see right now because the white is at the top it's actually overlaying the other video so what you can do is just go up to the top see your opacity is at a uh, hundred percent you just bring that down and then you can see that the video is actually underneath it so I'm just going to bring that opacity back up to 100% and turn the audio back on okay so let's say I don't want I don't want it to start until there or something let's see what is that okay so what I want to do is I just want to go through wherever I want it to press S on my keyboard that cuts it out so it's a block right there uh, and then go along again wherever I want it press S on the keyboard cut it out go along press S on the keyboard and if you see that they look quite similar what you can actually do is just go frame by frame count in the frames that's what I do sometimes like so like one two three four five cut one two three four five cut and you can do that for the whole thing but I'm just gonna leave it there what you can do is either space them out where you want them or you can just delete the middle ones that's what I do sometimes that's what I did with my video right here I cut out a picture I wait there I photoshop that picture myself and then I just bring brought down the opacity uh, made it so that the picture stretches all the way across and then followed the beats of the audio and just cut out the middle bits I, I think I did it in five bits so these should be all the same I just press S on the keyboard cut go along press S on the keyboard cut and then just delete the middle bits so it's a bit of variation like bam 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 and then it just repeats that 
So we can do the exact same thing right here. We can have it so that it goes in threes. So normal running horses then and then just flashes the white. Okay, so you can do that with any color. You can also do it with a picture or the audio. So let's just get let's just get a tiny bit here like that. And then clear that group. Just get the the video put the video down. Let's get rid of all of this. And then just go one, two, three, four, five, cut. One, two, three, four, five, cut. One, two, three, four, five, cut. And then we got our three tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly copy this. Uh, and then I'm just going to press Control V to paste it. And then just cut that one out, cut that one out, and then it just flashes like that the normal video and what you can do is cut that one cut that one so it does that or you can just leave another one do it however you want it so that is what you can do to get like a, a flash of white in the middle of the video and you can just you can play around with it you can change the speed and stuff of the video um, whilst also doing it so it flashes to it you could bring down the opacity to make it so that you can see it. Uh, you can see the video through it. That's exactly what I did on this one, so you can see a bit of the video still. And you can just play around with this and like make it to your own liking and just whatever you want. So, but uh, one quick tip is that you might want to follow the beats of the of the music if you don't understand what I mean by beats uh, let's just quickly swap over to this one okay so if you see where it plays normally and then it spikes up to the top plays normally spikes up to the top and that's where I've done it if you see there's one frame in between so it gets ready one frame bam goes off then on the next high spike, it comes on again. This time, on the exact same uh, frame that it starts, goes off as the music calms down, goes back up, but this time quite a lot before it spikes. And that is basically editing. <laughs> if you have a look, I've got a lot of like tapping there. Uh, tapping. What I mean is like where you can see uh, these bits and stuff I didn't photoshop that I just got that off Google um, and yeah you just play around with it suit it uh, to however you want it so uh, I think that's about it uh, I'm sorry for the delay of this video um, I had busy had a busy schedule with kind of like schoolwork and stuff um, but now it's summer holidays, so good. Yes, good. <laughs> so uh, this has been Shadow Snake One Four One. Tally ho!